okay. All right, how you guys doing today? Mike Zimmer, he's the topic for conversation. I always get a smile on my face because, God, he's been around here for a while. He's our guy. We've grown with him. We Vikings fans, we all got mixed feelings about him. It's either a love-hate with some fans or it's a hate or it's a love. Mike Zimmer's all over the board. Some people think we should have got Eric Bieniemy. Some people think we should have stayed with Zimmer. It's not his fault. It's all his fault. We, you know, so much chatter. Anyways, I'm going to be going over a hypothetical. If the Minnesota Vikings, this upcoming season, let's just say it's a train wreck. You know, there's no injuries. You know, you know, maybe a couple of stuff go wrong, and they end up missing the playoffs with this talented roster. Because this roster should make the playoffs. Just we're on clear. Like, that's expectation. This, they should make the playoffs. But for some reason, let's just say we go 8-8. Eight and eight, Or 8-9. Eight 9-8. Nine, nine and eight. You know, 7-10. What should the Minnesota Vikings do with their head coach, Mike Zimmer? Should he be fired? I'm going to talk about it in this video right now. If the Minnesota Vikings make or if the Minnesota Vikings miss the playoffs next season, should they fire Mike Zimmer? Let's talk about it. Short answer is yes. I mean, I could end this video right now and just keep it simple as that. Because this is something I'm strong about. I don't really think it needs an explanation, but obviously I have to give you guys one. Yes, Mike Zimmer should be fired if the Vikings miss the playoffs this season. You know, the whole thing around Mike Zimmer, you know, if we want to put this in a vacuum, we just want to look at it right now with how talented this roster is. Let's just say no past experience with Zim. He's our head coach for this year. You look at how talented this team is, and you look at the moves that we've made for his side of the football this offseason. I mean, if he can't make this work and he can't make this defense – top 10 top 12 even we got a real problem here because this defense is top 12 next season i guarantee you we will be right there at the thick of things when we're making the playoffs next season now this roster is too talented i mean you got pat pete harrison smith eric kendricks daniel hunter a ton of guys and the coach's job is to bring this talent together and get the most out of them and Mike Zimmer last year, I'm listen, I would love to look at that and be like, wow, that's on Zimmer. Look at the defense. That's his side of the football. Then again, he's playing with a bunch of sixth and seventh and undrafted guys out in the field, especially in the later half of the year when Eric Kendricks got hurt. Really, the only guy he had out there was Harrison Smith that he could really trust on because Anthony Harris pretty much mailed the season in after the bye week. My expectations for the Vikings going into this year, I think all of you guys are, is just to get back to the playoffs and see what happens throughout the year. See if we develop guys, see if there's a hidden gem on our team that we don't know about and potentially could take us to the Super Bowl because that is what we're going to need. I mean, we're going to need this all to come together. That's how it happens in the NFL. You know, you're going in the year, you're like, we just need to get in the playoffs and see what happens. And I think we all expect as Vikings fans for them to be in the playoffs the next season considering the talent on this roster on both sides of the football. Now, with that being said, if they would not make the playoffs, like for some reason, like I don't care about injuries, like I don't care if Kurt gets hurt or whatever, Mike Zimmer just needs to make the playoffs. Let's just say if everything goes wrong, you still need to be able to rally these guys and make the playoffs. And this is what has to be the mindset because I think the owner, Ziggy Wilf, needs to sit down, Rick Spielman and Mike Zimmer, especially Zimmer. I, I kind of got a love affair going on with Rick Spielman right now, so I'm going to leave him out of this. But Spielman then needs to sit down Mike Zimmer, and he needs to say, listen, we're going to go one more year all in. But if we can't make the playoffs, I think we both know that we both could be gone, and especially you could be gone. So we just need to go all in, no matter what the excuse is, no injuries, no nothing. We make the playoffs this year. That needs to be the expectation because that's what it should be. You know, Zimmer's been here a long time. If we're taking the look of this outside of the vacuum, he's been here for a while. And the Vikings have had immense talent on this team for the longest time Zimmer's been here. You look at all the defensive guys that came through, all the talented offensive weapons that we've had. But it's never really came together for a true Super Bowl run besides 2017 when we got the doors blown off. 38 to 7 against Philly and Zimmer frankly got totally out schemed and out coached by Doug Peterson that game. Oh, the whole question with Zimmer was can he get us over the hump? Like I know Zimmer's a good defensive coach. I'm not here to argue that with you. He would get a job in probably a heartbeat if he was on the market as either a D coordinator, especially as a D corner. If he put his name in there as a D coordinator, he would be hired literally an hour later. Even as a head coach, I think it would be hired the next day. He knows football. But then again, at the end of the day, it comes down to can he take us to a Super Bowl? Can he get you over the hump? 
because even making the playoffs is great but before this year that was kind of the question we had about Zim you know the question was like yes he's good but can like this old school defensive style of coaching still win in the NFL and I think that question is going to be answered because let's just say we have a really really good team and we dominate teams and we feel like a true contender next season even that will get him another year as a coach even that will because i think his contract is up next year if i'm not mistaken or maybe the year after that so it wouldn't really hurt the vikings to fire him it wouldn't hurt their uh finance them financially at all so again i think this is a quick answer i think it's a yes if mike zimmer if the vikings fail to make the playoffs next year zimmer's got to be gone you know, there's no real excuse. This has to be an all-in year. You know, you got went all in on Pat Pete for a year. You restructured Barr for a year. You restructured Thielen. You know, you got Daniel Hunter saying he's not gonna make his contract a big deal for this year. He wants to focus on winning. You got a bunch of these guys coming back for these one-year things. You don't know how long Harry's gonna be there. This is Zimmer's last chance with like his Daniel Hunter, Eric Kendricks, Pat Pete, Harrison Smith. He's got his guys here. And I bet you that first round pick will go on defense too. A lot of pressure on Zimmer this year. I mean, it hasn't really been floated around in the area, but I would put him on the hot seat. I think this team is incredibly talented, and he needs to figure it out. Let me know what you guys think about Mike Zimmer. If the Vikings fail to make the playoffs this year, would you guys keep him as the Minnesota Vikings head coach? Let me know what you guys think down below. Like the video, sub to the channel. Easiest way to help me by far. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. See you guys later. Skull Vikes.